Hello everybody, welcome to another video. My name is Infinity and today I am here with a community requested topic. This is how to change color on a flat panel using the Centro Knitting Machine. In essence, it's kind of like changing color in the round, it's just slightly different. So I'm going to sh go through showing you how to do that. That being said, this is not a super beginner tutorial. I do have an entire playlist back on my channel uh, full of tutorials on how to work the central knitting machine from casting on to casting off to all that other fun stuff in between so you can go ahead and check that out if that's what you're looking for all right so i am here with some rows that i've already cranked up my black indicator needle is in the center of my machine in the up position and that's exactly where you want it so what i'm going to do is now pick up my second color right and i'm going to drop it down in the machine so what i want is for all of my needles that are supposed to catch yarn to catch this new strand of yarn so what i'm going to do is cut my gray yarn and pull it out the tension thing and i'm going to start cranking back the other way start cranking back this other way and once I get to the needle that is supposed to catch my yarn I'm just going to completely untension that gray strand and I'm going to go ahead and pop in my yarn here so the main thing is is that you want it to um you want the needle to catch your new strand and once it catches it you can pop the yarn back into the tension holder and start cranking all right and just like that we're all connected i just like to give my secondary color a little a little tug there just to make sure that my edges remained straight and now I'm going to continue cranking up my project as I normally would. This technique is super helpful, um, especially with the scrunchy tutorial that I did probably a year ago now. Um, I have some scr oddball scrunchies that I end up giving away that I use this method for. They're usually made out of scrap pieces and I think they're really fun. Um, I'm sure there's a whole other assortment of things you could use that for, including like the baby hats on the mini Centro. Or if you're using the larger Centro, you can um, use this method as well for that purpose. Alright, so I'm going to crank up a few more ropes. Alright, and just to recap, if you want to change colors again, make sure your black needle is in the up position and that you can't crank past it when you're pulling your handle towards you to crank. And you want to leave yourself a decent amount of tail, just so as you change between the colors it doesn't accidentally pull out and unravel your whole project, because that would be really unfortunate. Then what we're going to do is remove our strand from the tension holder and the little threader thing here and we are going to crank slowly until we come to that needle that holds the yarn the last needle that has our yarn around it and we are going to get our other color of choice we're going to drop the tail down in the center of the machine and we are going to crank and make sure that the this first needle here with the yarn around it catches the tail. That is super important. Um, if it doesn't catch it, you're going to have problems along the edge of your work. And that's no fun for anybody. Alright, you can pop the yarn back into the threader at this point and just crank it slowly. And as you crank, you're going to notice that the yarn pulls over just a little bit. So that's why I always leave a lengthy tail when I change colors. Um, on flat panels but once you're sure that your yarn is secure and whatnot you can just keep cranking and continue your rows as per usual All right. 
right, guys, as you can see here, I have cast off. Let me just get my needle off of there. And <laughs> this is what my swatch looks like here. I will say that you will have better results than mine if you use two yarns that are the same weight. I purposely used two different scrap yarns that I had in my basket down here. So that's why mine might look a little wonky in here. The yarn in general just is wonky. <laughs> but yeah, so this method is something that I use for my scrunchies and other flat panel projects on my machine. I hope today's video was helpful for you guys. If so, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. You can comment down below with more questions or ideas. I don't mind uh, taking on those challenges and doing those videos for you guys. It's super fun. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on my crafty content. I know it's been a little weird here lately, but I usually post knitting type videos on Wednesdays at 9.30 a.m. CST. Also, it just really helps out the channel a whole heck of a lot, and I appreciate you guys' support. Also, you can check out my blog where I post crochet and knitting tips, tricks, tutorials, and patterns, you know? Um, so if that's something you're interested in, head over there. You can sign up for the newsletter. You can sign up for the site and get notified whenever I post. You can also check me out on Instagram. We recently hit 400 followers over there, so thank you so much for everybody that um, has gone over there and has contributed to that count. And until next time guys, happy making. <laughs>